So I was hoping today would be the day I get out in the garden and finally get this cleaned up. Today it is about 37 degrees and it finally stopped sleeting. It has been like a rainy snow mixture all morning. Just kind of yucky sleet. So it finally stopped. Chickens are out running around, which is great. Um, so I don't know if I'll get to it today. I actually have a lot of work I have to get done today. So that's going to come first, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I got my work done. You see this? Can you see this coming down? I can't tell if it's rain or snow. It's like right in between. Will it ever stop? Since apparently it looks like I'm never going to get anything done outside, figured I might as well come in here and show you what I've been up to the last couple days. So as you probably saw a while back, Matt filled all of our beds up. They're good, they're nice and full. And um, I've been filling them with seeds. So I haven't gotten all of it done yet, but I'll show you what I've been up to. So a few days ago, I came out and planted a whole bunch of greens in this open part of this far bed. I still have a lot of seedling trays here um, that I haven't planted underneath, obviously. Um, but it's been so cold, our tarp's still been out. So hopefully, we're hoping soon I can take that down so I can fill these beds full and get these plants out of here. I think I am going to have to bring some of the plants in the house. Just not really sure what else I can do at this point if I want to get the beds planted, I suppose. So I planted arugula, a couple kinds of mustard, some uh, like cut and come again style lettuces, a few of those, and butter crunch lettuce. That's how far I got. I do want to get kale in here, um, some turnips and radishes, and that's for sure what I want to get in here. Matt wants me to save him a spot for a pepper plant. So I'm going to do that. I did have to move out our cabbage, our broccoli, and our cauliflower out from under these tarps so I could get all those greens planted. Um, but they've been doing well at night. So then yesterday I was out here and I planted just over half this bed. I have full of carrots. Yes, we covered the other carrots with dirt and I'm trying again. Hopefully this round goes much better. I'm using my seed, seedling square and I probably should have covered these carrots up, but honestly, this is as far as I am right now. So hoping I have time later today or in the next couple days to come out here and get all of this done. Matt even has the wood stove going today. So the sleet and snow stuff seems to have stopped for a little bit, but the wind has just been crazy. It'll be pretty calm and then all of a sudden the, there's wind coming out of just nowhere it feels like. So I slammed my hand in the door because the wind shut the door a few minutes ago. So we're just off to a great day. Um, but I have to come down here to the chickens because I don't know if you guys remember, but I put this log in front of this door to hold it open and the wind's just been moving the log closer and closer to pretty much shutting the door, which I think is freaking the chickens out. And the whole reason we use that instead of the cinder block that used to be there, oh, here's the wind again, oh, is because it was frozen into the ground. So let me see if I can get that out. Yesterday I came outside and this entire side of the garden was just down. This whole fence was laying down. I'm trying to get it to stay up the best I can. The only thing in there right now is the garlic and like the strawberries and such, but oh my goodness. I gotta put it in the new spot, okay? So let's go down here. So we're gonna lift this up. So I'll do this one so you see what I do, and then you do the next one. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Alright. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'm just barely touching the soil, just so the seeds don't float around all over. 
grow new water. I didn't want to push. All right. So I'm going to do these and then you do the next one, okay? Okay. You excited for some carrots? Yep. Do you like carrots? No. No? No. Why don't you like carrots? Because I don't like carrots. Oh, alright. <laughs> I know, I know. So, that, but what? I may see do some. Yep, you're going to do them and I move it over here, okay? I'm sliding them in their spot, bud. Why? Now it's my turn. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me do this part. Okay, see those seeds? Put them in the red holes. These? Yep. Just the red ones. This one? Yep. Got it? Yep. You got one in that one. Oh, you got two in there. That's okay. How about this one up here? Oh. Where another one? It works easy when you slide them, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you get in that one? There you go. Did you get one in there? You mm -hmm. put one in there? Goes in. This one. Oh, you silly goose. Up here. What? Put, it's okay. That one's gone. It's okay. Grab one and put one in this one. You got one left. No, that one's worth mine. Yep, yep, yep. Put yours in there. There you go. Hold it up. Hold it up like this. There you go. Some water in here. Yeah, I'm gonna water this. Let's go all the way down to the end. Over here. Can we reach? Oh yeah. You wanna mist it. So this way the seeds don't move. Doesn't that look good? I can't get some water. want to get wet? Whatever. Dad, that's some water. Yeah. Whoa. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, look at all these. Yeah, you want to leave that in there. That's called perlite. Uh. We put that in with our stuff. Mixing pot. I need to put some in here. No, but it doesn't go in the raised beds. Does that mean it's... So Sarah is busy yeah, shipping. I've been... Wolf. Yep, just leave it in the bag though, please. So I came out to finish the carrots because I don't want to get behind on this. And we are completely swamped. So it is good. We haven't had this kind of swamped in a long time. So we'll take it. But we're not going to get behind on our planting. So I got this rest of this bed planted. I'm just misting it all. One thing I'm liking about this soil with this peat moss, it holds the moisture really well and everything's very light and airy. Obviously it just got put in. So I'm thinking that last soil was two years. So I'm thinking it might have to be in every other year that I just come in here with the shovel and basically turn the beds. And I've seen uh, Ben Holler do that with his garden beds. And I think I can do that with inside. It's just tough to get towards the bottom because we have logs in the bottom. So I can dig down only so far, but I think I'm gonna do that every other year and see how this works first. But And then I can top dress it with our composting because this year we are also going to compost our chicken manure. Normally, 
we would just throw it with the chickens and let them break it down and add the soil and then I'd go in their pen and just pick up the soil as I needed it. But what we're finding is every time we go and mow the lawn towards the summer when uh, the crabgrass is starting to seed out, we are getting crabgrass like you wouldn't believe in that. So I want to keep some separate so this way we have some good stuff we can use in here every year. You want what? You want to drink some water? Yeah. Well, this will be funny. <laughs> Did you get some? That's your walk. Let me change it. Here. Here you go. Let's get some water. Okay. When I'm done watering, then we'll go in. I'm almost done. So, yeah. I'm going to save all that compost this year. That's a lot because that's a 10 by 13 shed that they're in. So, excuse me, buddy. I don't want to get you muddy with the hose. Muddy, 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 So now our goal is here. We have to make sure we keep this nice and moist. I think it was like uh, three weeks. Two or three weeks. So. Daddy, Keep it moist daddy, and Sarah's thinking daddy, she might put daddy, some cardboard on it. Daddy, we'll see. I said always daddy, if it's not going to stay dry or wet daddy, enough we can daddy, always daddy, do the cardboard. Or if it's staying wet enough we can just keep coming out and missing it. So. so I had put the tower fan in here because the next last night and this night tonight is going to get really cold again. So what we did on the tarp is we lifted it up, pushed it against the far wall to seal the back off and seal the top. And then we pushed it tight against it at the bottom. And now the heater's actually been shutting off. So it's getting up to 60 because the lowest that one goes is 60 degrees. So in that little area, it's been getting up to 60 degrees. So hey, that'll work. And in the greenhouse, it is 55 right now. So we just did the tarp, but hopefully that's gonna help because this darn cold weather, I don't know. This is this year is way different. <laughs> but they're saying it's supposed to be a dry year. I hope not. But so far it's been a wet spring. So you know what they say? April showers bring May flowers. <laughs> well, glad you guys got to see me again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>